We got Eric Newton next. Mike? Yeah, I'm also going to be there. We're all listening. Yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? 15 minutes, go for it. Oh, that's, that's plenty of time. I would not I would not make you guys suffer through 15 minutes of me. Hey, real quick, was that earlier? Was that, was that an earthquake that was earlier? Yes, it was, was right? Like I was like, was. is that just the power of pure rock and roll? But it was an earthquake. Though. It was an earthquake. Okay, alright. The windows all right. rattled in there. Hey everybody, uh, my name's Eric, Eric Newton. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm from uh, I'm from the safety of East Oakland. Fun fact, it's not that safe actually. I don't want to be there right now if I have to be. Also, uh, here's a fun fact about me. I grew up a Jehovah's Witness, so i uh, probably been to your house before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, good, to see, good to see you again. How you doing? Uh, so I'm a, I, I have to tell people I'm a book. You can't judge by his cover. You know, I live in East Oakland. But I get my nails done, you alright? And people are like, look at Eric, dude, he's soft, dude, look at him, he's weird, he gets his nails done. I'd be like, dude, yeah, I get my nails done, but I'm not scared to fight, you can still catch these hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not afraid to fight, I'm just afraid to chip a nail, I just got them done. They're expensive. So, but hey, check it out, I'm not afraid to fight, and if I lose that fight, I'm not afraid to press charges, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna win one way or another. I'm actually not tough at all. Um, I've been doing comedy in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area for a long time and uh, I realized that out here in the Bay Area you got to be careful what you say you don't know how people are gonna react it could be shocking you know so I was doing this show in San Francisco and that night uh, every comedian they all had jokes about suicide for some reason like every comedian suicide suicide so eventually even the bartender stood stands up he's like man if I commit suicide I already know how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna lock myself in my garage leave my car running and I was like, whoa, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, you can afford a car and a garage in San Francisco? I was like, what? I should be bartending. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, ironically, ironically enough, I do have my nails painted, but I realized recently, I think I'm, I think I'm becoming homophobic, you know? Not like, not like, like old Christian values homophobic, no. I feel like I'm afraid that gay people won't think I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, like especially like, they, what, if they, what if they think I was cool enough to be an ally? You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you, I love gay dance culture. Like so much, dude, it's everything about it. Dude, the balls, the, 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 the costumes, the dancing, it's amazing. But they, but in particular, they do this one dance. It's called, do you guys know about this? It's called a death drop. You guys know what a death drop is? Oh my god, it's the most, it's, it's the beautiful thing. Dude, they'll, they'll do like an amazing dance move. And in the middle of the dance move, they'll just freeze and fall straight to the ground. They don't even catch themselves. Like, they don't brace or nothing. It looks so dangerous. It's so impressive. It looks so hard, right? And I was thinking, like, dude, what if that's on the test to be an ally, all right? Like, I can't, I can't do that. So I feel like, you know, I'd be in the interview. They'd be like, let's check, let's check out what you got. All right, you got, you got painted nails. I like, the, I like the sound of the lisp in your voice. <laughs> They're like, what do you think about brunch? I'm like, I don't really do brunch, but when I get drunk, I download Grinder every night. They're like, okay, that, that, like, that works. They'll be like, all right, now you gotta do a death drop. I'm like, dude, really? I can't do a death drop. Like, like you have to, you're an ally, right? I'm like, dude, I'm an ally for real. Is there another way? I, I can't do a death drop. Can, can, can you just have somebody like fuck me? Like, I can't fall on the ground and get back up. Like, that's impossible. Get yeah, fucked sounds way easier. Okay, that one got the that one got the correct reaction that I was expecting. Uh, I try not to tell people I'm a comedian uh, because every time I tell someone I'm a comedian, the first thing they say to me is like, "Eric, Eric, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke." Yeah, it's so annoying. It's annoying because that doesn't work with any other job, right? Like nowhere else. Like if you meet a person, he's like, "Hey, I'm John. I'm a dentist." You're not gonna be like, "Hey, John, the dentist, put some braces on my daughter," right? You know why that's not gonna happen? Because John's a dentist, not an orthodontist. All right, you need, you need an orthodontist for dentists. But it's ridiculous. You're not gonna make somebody prove like their their occupation. Right? They told me, so you know what I do? I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna tell you what my what my job is, but I'll tell you what I do at my job. And basically, at my job, I go out in public. I find an electrified piece of metal and I speak words into it. And after I do that, 
I end up with like five dollars of gas money to go home. So uh, if you think about it, uh, I'm basically an alchemist, right? That's alchemy, right? I, I took I took electrified metal and I talked into it and I came out with gasoline. That's alchemy, son. Yeah, maybe not full metal, but at least soft rock. Uh, what else did I wanted to say? I guess as, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing. Uh, I'm kind of a hypocrite, you know, but I'm leaning into it, honestly, I'm just enjoying it now, I'm like, whatever, I'm a hypocrite. So, like, for instance, uh, I, I think it's fine for a black man to date a white woman, but uh, when I see black women dating white men, I'm like, nah, son, that's messed up, you can't do that. Because I'm a hypocrite, I just said it, I'm a hypocrite. I know, I know I'm a hypocrite because uh, I don't watch any movies produced by Harvey Weinstein, but I listen to R. Kelly every day, and that's just, that's just gonna keep happening. Because ignition remixes mixes fire. All right, I'll just leave you guys. I'll leave you guys with this one. Uh, this is my last one for the night. Hey, you guys been a great crowd. Love this. It's so fun. Thank you for having me out. And like she was saying, it is good to see people out enjoying like live entertainment again. So give yourselves a round of applause for even being out here. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll just leave you guys with this one. So um, I like to leave. I like to end by saying something. To, you know, hope you remember me by. But before you guys remember me. Let's remember back to uh, 2018 to a lady named Barbecue Becky, all right? Barbecue Becky, uh, not that far from my house, there's a group of black people having a barbecue at Lake Merritt. You know, I live right there. And uh, she calls the cops on them because uh, they're having a barbecue. They weren't hurting nobody. They weren't causing any trouble. Barbecue Becky dials 911 and it falls a complaint. All right, uh, a few weeks after that, a lady in San Francisco, she calls the cops on this little eight-year-old black girl because she's selling water you know, selling bottles of water in the neighborhood. She just calls the cops on this little girl. I was like, this is too much, this is gross. I gotta do something. So I started going out, started doing shows in Oakland, and this is how I like to end my shows. Um, I like to say, hey, if there's any white people here right now that wanna call the cops on me because I'm a black man telling jokes at an open mic, you know what I wanna say? I wanna say, I wish you would. Like, really, really, I wish you would. But, but honestly, I, I wish you would, because I could use the publicity. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, I, if I could get on CNN, then I, that's good. Yeah. That's because he's done great for me. Like, hey, if, if, if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, I'm also selling bottles of water, all right? The only difference is my water has trace amounts of Adderall, so it's real smart water. Hey, everyone, I'm Eric like, Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Hey, thanks, man. Oh, you're welcome. All right, let's give it up for him. That was awesome. Okay, come out here.